Welcome back to our next video. How's it going guys? You're watching Growth Positive and my name is Ali and yeah here I am with my next video. I hope you all having an amazing day. So I know you guys already saw that video title. So yes I'm gonna show you how we can make 3D logo in Photoshop for our YouTube channel or for any purpose for which you wanna make here. So in this video I'll tell you how you can convert 2D image or 2D text into 3D and then you can cool it as a logo. And yeah in simple words I'll tell you how you can convert any 2D graphics into 3d so it is really simple watch this video till end it is really gonna be useful for you guys and yeah let's see if we can hit 15 likes on this video i know that is really really small amount for you guys so go ahead show your power and turn that gray like button into blue and yeah if you're new here and if you haven't subscribed to us then go ahead and smash that red subscribe button it is right underneath that video and you don't have to pay for it guys but it will give me a lot of motivation so without being said let's get started so all you need a photoshop cs6 extended version or you can also use any photoshop version in which we have 3d option if you don't have 3d option then you can't make 3d logo it makes sense like we don't have 3d option in photoshop cs6 but i'm gonna use cs6 extended version we have 3d option in it and in my opinion photoshop cc and cs6 extended they're pretty much same from inside what we're gonna do now open your photoshop and press ctrl and n and you can give it any size but all you need to keep in your mind its resolution must be 72 color mode rgb and background contents must be white and now hit ok and now if you want to convert your text into 3d then use your text tool and make a text bar write your text in it and then do other stuff that i'll show you but i'm gonna convert my 2d image into 3d so i'm going into file and then i'm gonna hit place and i'm gonna choose this image you can choose any image that you want but make sure that your image is in png file if, if it is in, in png file then go and remove its background make it png and here you can see this image is in 2d form but we're gonna convert it into 3d so what we're gonna do now press alt and shift by holding alt and shift make its size a little bigger as you want all right this one is better and now you can hit enter or you can also hit the tick icon all right so our next step is select your image give it your name first we're gonna give it name image all right now select your image right click on it and now select new 3d extrusion from selected layer so here we are in our 3d panel so what we're gonna do now select your image from over here and i'm gonna decrease its extrusion depth you can increase it or decrease it it's all up to you but i'm gonna decrease it a little all right this one is better you guys can also change its preset from over here but i'm gonna choose the default one because i like this one but i can show you how it works if you select this one you can see the change in your image but i'm gonna choose this one i like this one you guys can change its preset if you want okay so now select your second option because we're gonna change its color and now select your second option from over here and now change its diffuse color and before changing our diffuse color i want to tell you we can change this diffuse color later so i'm gonna choose a temporary right now we'll change it later so i'm gonna choose this one hit ok you can also change your shine reflection roughness bump anything that you want this diffuse color will apply on our full image but you can see they're not showing that color on our full image what we're gonna do now if we go to our layers tab from over here and then if we hide our this option you can see they're showing this color on our full image but we don't have to hide it yeah so make it visible double click on it hit ok it will make a new project and now hide your image from over here and press ctrl and s now go back to your previous project on which we were working and from over here you can see they have applied this color on our full image if we hide or visible it it will remain the same now go back to your 3d tab from over here we have to do a lot of changes into 3d now change now select your third option this one and change its diffuse color and i want to tell you you can't change this diffuse color later so make sure that you're choosing the right one and this diffuse color will apply on your border so i'm gonna choose this one okay that's better 
hit ok you can also change the shine reflection roughness bump as i told you all right so we can't see this color on our borders yeah but actually they're showing this color on our borders if we zoom it in you can see it it is really little part but it will give us a really great impact on our image it will make a lot of difference into our background and in our image but let me show you how it works now if we go back to our image this option and now if we change our preset you can see they make our borders a little bigger so that's why we can see this border color right now but i'm gonna choose this one in this preset we have border already little that's why we can't see our border color so our next step is the select your fourth option this one change its diffuse color and, and i want to tell you you also can't change this diffuse color later so make sure that you're choosing the right one and this diffuse color will appears on our shadow so i'm gonna choose this yellow color or maybe a little darker no just a sec no yeah that's better hit ok all right so for now it's done but we have to do a lot of things go back to your layers all right so what we're gonna do now select your background layer from over here right click on it and now select convert to smart object and now again right click on it and select postcard and now go back to your layers by holding control select both of your layers and now press control and e to merge your layers and now this is done for now you can see they are showing our reflection color on our 3d extrusion but when we will render it they will show it as a reflection go to 3d from over here and hit render and now they're gonna render our image automatically and yeah i want to tell you it can take up to 20 or 25 minutes depending upon your pc's performance it would take 20 minutes depending upon my pc's performance so i'm i'm gonna skip that part and after that you will see amazing result of photoshop 3d rendering i know it was looking sucks but after let it render it will give us really amazing results all right pause generation so it's done it literally took 20 minutes to render this image there's bullshit it's freezing over here because it's raining but i'm still over here making that video just for you guys so go ahead smash that red subscribe button at least I appreciate my work that i'm doing for you guys come on go ahead and put like on this video that would be really appreciated right click on our layer and select convert to smart object and now we're back to 2d panel so what we're gonna do now we're gonna make this image perfect we're gonna add some colors we're gonna change our background color and a lot of more things all right so i want to tell you a few things if you want to add one color on your image then you have to make a single new layer and then add your dead color but if you want to add more than one color like if you want to add two colors then you have to make two new layers and if you want to add three then you have to make three and so on so i'm gonna add two different colors on my image so i'm gonna make two new layers so first thing that we're gonna do make a new layer from over here and select this tool which is magic wand tool and if you can't see it then choose that fourth option right click on it and here you will see that magic wand tool now select your background layer from over here select that tool by holding shift select your parts on which you want to apply your color i want to apply this color on two different parts on this one and this one okay and now select your new layer and press alt and backspace it will remove that color and now we can add any color that we want on it double click on your layer we are on blending options now and now go to color overlay or you can also add gradient overlay you can do a lot of layer styles that you want to do so i'm gonna choose this color okay so now hit ok and from over here also okay and i'll press ctrl and d to unselect these parts and if it's time to add another color if you want to add another color make a new layer again select your background layer again select that tool again and now by holding shift select your different parts again select your new layer and now press alt and backspace if you remove that color double click on it you are in bl blending options now and add your color i'm gonna add this color now again press ctrl and d to deselect that layer by holding ctrl select all of your layers and now press ctrl and e to merge them 
and now what we're gonna do and now we're gonna add some more colors so what we're gonna do now go to adjustments if you don't have adjustments option go to window and here you will see adjustment option click on it it will make visible it for you go to adjustment and now select hue and saturation and now increase the saturation it will make our reflection more darker i mean that light shadow which is right behind you, our image okay so very good to go and now go back to adjustments and now select brightness and contrast and now increase your contrast it will make your colors a bit darker because i prefer darker look our main step is to now select color balance and now we're gonna do a lot of mess with our colors change all these settings and select that color that you want all right so i like this one now what we're gonna do select your move tool from over here and simply drag this layer right above to your layer 4 okay so it's a bit more darker so we're gonna decrease our settings just like that all right Time. that's fantastic all right so there's it how we can make 3d logo if you want to save it by holding control select all of your layers because we're gonna save it now and now press ctrl and e and go to file click on save as choose your format whatever you want to choose png or jpeg i'm gonna save it into jpeg choose your location and hit save it will save it 3d logo so now you know how we can make 3d logo yeah so what you're doing go ahead open your photoshop dude make your own 3d logo right now and i hope so you like this video and yeah once again go ahead and smash that red subscribe button if you did let's see if we can hit 15 likes on this video and that would be really really appreciated if you guys share this video to your friends so that's for today as always peace love and unity my name is ali and i'm signing out